We have you down! Hello everyone, uh, my name is Idana Bolnik, uh, instructor in Kala system. Uh, so today I will like to talk to you about why you as a civilian need to train more harder from combat soldier, uh, commando soldier, when it's come to self-defense, when it's when you need to defend yourself. I think you maybe mislead in the information out there, and I'm sure by the end of this video you will have a better idea why you and the civilians need to train harder. Uh, if you don't know me, I uh, serve uh, in Israel. I be a, one of the I served in one of the top uh, units in Israel, Golani. I be a fighter. Uh, Lebanon, West Bank. Done enough. So what I'm talking is from experience and. Uh, and I hope it will help you. <laughs> when it's come to, let's call this hand-to-hand -hand combat for military or what you're more familiar of Krav Maga, you think or believe the, the soldiers, uh, the combat soldiers or commando soldiers <laughs> are trying to be experts in uh, in hand-to-hand -hand combat and uh, it's not true it's far away from from the truth I think <clears throat> uh, I think you not understand uh, what is or what will take for a soldier to defend himself against knife attack okay uh, I'm not going to talk about now gun defense against a soldier because uh, if a soldier arrives in a situation when he facing gunpoint as a soldier, as a combat soldier, okay, most of the time, unfortunately, it's a game over. Or he be captured behind enemy line, or he gets the bullets. No, any terrorist got to hold the soldier in a manner when you will give him even the chance to disarm the gun. So <coughs> we will take the topics of knife defense, okay? <clears throat> so if a soldier on duty find himself in a knife attack, you first of all need to understand the protection the soldier have, it's unbelievable. And it's good it's like that, okay? He have his bulletproof vest, he have his helmet, okay? Uh, of course, he have his assault rifle, okay? Side gun, sometimes the handgun. Uh, so it means the terrorist or whoever attack him with the knife is a limited, okay? Uh, he have much more difficulty to give him fatal steps. Okay? I don't say it's not possible, but it's more difficult for civilians. Of course, a soldier all the time go to work with a team. No matter if it's a small team or bigger team, it's a team. Meaning if one soldier facing knife attack, <laughs> okay, his brother in arm go to intervene immediately. If it's in firepower, or it's uh, people will help him and jump on the terrorists and start to hit him with the butt of the of the rifle. So it means he got to have help and support. And the third, he have the firepower. So it means a soldier can engage 
against the, the knife attack, against the terrier, a terrorist, for a short time, because he need maybe to go in, okay, to give a damage quickly to the attacker, and they could back, or rifle, or handgun, and mobilize the attacker. Full stop, yeah, full stop. So, most of the time, 99% of the time, a combat soldier or commando will mobilize the situation with firepower. This is how it's work. As a civilians, it's a completely different story. Civilian, you are basically walking naked. Not naked as I mean, no clothing. You don't have any protection on you whatsoever. It means a terrorist or somebody wants to stab you, you have much more bigger targets to attack, okay? From your center mass, arteries, face, etc. Uh, you don't have the privilege, most of the civilians don't have the privilege to be uh, uh, armed, okay? It's meaning, yeah, you don't have, let's say, the privilege the soldier have to, to create some form of distance to use this weapon. And even that, okay, even that, uh, even if you carry a weapon, if a terrorist or criminal already start to stab you, let's say the chance you will use your weapon, even if it's condition one or condition three or condition whatever you carry, is not going to help you now to pull the weapon. The society you're living today, the chance somebody will help you, it's very, very slim. So support and somebody will help you, it's very slim. Uh, so you already see the difference. And uh, as you as a civilian, okay, and I'm talking only now a knife defense, okay? Only that, it's enough. A re it's, a, it's a good reason you as a civilian, civilians train yourself much more harder from a soldier when it's come to defend yourself. You don't have the same privilege, the same equipment, the same support as a soldier. Just that, it's, it's enough for you to understand. You cannot play around in your self-defense classes. On fancy move, on uh, easy way get out. Um, like a terrorist attack a soldier and want to kill him. It's the same. The same like a terrorist want to kill a soldier no matter what. Terrorist or a criminal go to attack a civilian in the same manner. He will not give you a discount or will attack you less aggressive because you're civilian. Self-defense is very difficult. It's a difficult situation to be in. And I think you civilian think a soldier or commando or special forces or combat soldier are, have a better hand-to-hand -hand combat technique. Not true. They just have other other, uh, uh, there are more option to use what you don't have, rifle, and gun, support, and we talk about that. So think about that. You don't have, not because you're civilians, you can have a shortcut in your training or somebody can sell you this illusion. You can try, you can train easier or, or smarter, no such a thing. You, 
you us need to train much more harder. And like I say, as told you, I'm not going to, to face a choke defense or punch defense, okay, or, or gun point to the back or to the head. Again, if a soldier finds himself in that situation, okay, in a gun point, it's game over. It's mean three, three terrorists on him, or whatever. It's it's no. Uh, it's a different story, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, uh, it's not. Uh, if a terrorist managed to pull hot weapon on a on a soldier, 99.99 percent you shoot him or capture him behind, capture him as a as a hostage and take him. To their side. You and a civilian, it's a different story. You can face knife defense, gun defense, uh, a manchetti, stick, a bar fight, two, three people on you, okay, and so on and so on and so on. So, I hope it's helped you to understand why you should to train much more harder when it's come to self-defense. God bless, Kala system.